this tonight. Oh, Jazz Baines just on the left. Here with Jazz Baines from St. Lawrence, a game high 24 points. Definitely academically and athletically, I'm trying to strive. I always grew up playing basketball at my community centers outside on the street. I got cut grade 7, 9, 10, 11, and then I made my team in grade 12, and I came off the bench, stuff like that. Um, not really uh, the main guy, but, but I enjoyed playing the game so much. For two years, I attended um, Guelph Humber University. During school time, I was in the gym doing a lot of workouts lifting everything while trying out for Guelph because you can travel for both Guelph University and Humber College and like trying out for both these teams consecutively and just getting cut like repeatedly while still being dedicated to the game. So one of my friends, his name's Andrew Dawkins, he actually was attending St. Lawrence College and like I didn't know anything. I just knew I wanted a hoop and I was good enough. I went to a good school like Humber is a nationally ranked team. So like, it is difficult just walking onto that team. Andrew told me to come through to St. Lawrence. And I went there and the coach offered me and I had like $500 or something like that for my first year. And I'm like, yeah, like I bet on myself. I'm all in, I'm going after it. For myself, like I'm really a self-made person. So my self-belief is through the roof. Like I don't think I'm the worst in anything. I don't think like I'm the best in anything either, but like, I really do believe in myself, like I think I can be the best at anything I put my mind to. But um, when I went over there, I didn't start my first game. And then after that, I started every single game. I was putting up numbers and then right when I started putting up numbers, I'm like, yeah, I could really go crazy. I was actively recruited by a whole bunch of teams. Um, but Queens felt like home, I was already over there. The coach messed with me, the people messed with me, the city messed with me. We excelled, like, we made the playoffs. Um, I did well. Um, I was an all star, stuff like that. So I think my decision was a great decision. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and it's in! Face walks off. I just wanted to get out of there, obviously, with my past history of trying out for, for Guelph and not making their team twice. I wasn't really like, you know, I really wanted to beat them. So like, I even told the guys on the bench, like, if they miss this shot, give me the ball game's done, we're going home, pack our bags, we're out of here. And like, I hit the shot and we packed our bags and got out of there. Ever since a kid, um, my uh, dream was to be a professional athlete. And like, I got the chance to go do that. So super, super good. It's great, like, I'm, I'm a brown hooper. It's difficult to see people in my position because there's not a whole lot of them. And being able to come together to, to put each other on is like a very important and I, like a great accomplishment. Coming from England, coming from uh, a place where they speak English, where there's not a whole, like there was brown people, but not a whole lot. My role models are like Michael Owen, Matt Sundin, Vince Carter, like Allen Iverson, like not brown guys at all. Shot clock at 17. Here he comes, mid range. Got it! Andy Rising has pulled off the massive upset. We won one game this summer. We were the eighth seed, we beat the first seed. Like, I think that was a huge deal for our community. Pretty much the whole world got to see. From here, it's not about me anymore. It's more about um, who I'm gonna share my knowledge with and my expertise. Currently, I'm the lead assistant coach at the University of Waterloo men's basketball. So like, I'm in a great role to give back. That's what I wanna do. I wanna make sure the program at Waterloo is doing very well. Uh, all the guys are improving. I just think if you stay committed, stay dedicated, persevere, you can do whatever you want. 
Jazz Bane's just on the left.